7 Signs That You Are Marked By God In our fast-paced and ever-changing world, many of us are searching for deeper meaning and purpose. We often wonder if there's more to life than what we see, and we long for signs that we are walking on the path God has set for us. If you've ever felt this way, you are not alone. Being chosen and marked by God is something profound, and it comes with unmistakable signs that His hand is upon your life. Whether it's feeling a sense of not belonging in this world, experiencing God's presence in ways you cannot explain, or going through trials that seem unbearable, these are all indicators that you are marked for a greater purpose. God's calling on your life is unique, and the way He works within you is unlike anything this world can offer. Throughout Scripture, we see how God sets apart those He chooses, refining, blessing, and guiding them to fulfill His divine plans. In this video, we will explore seven powerful signs that you are marked by God. These signs serve as evidence of His presence, His favor, and His calling over your life. If you have ever wondered why certain things happen to you or why you feel different from those around you, this message is for you. As we dive into these signs, you'll gain insight into the purpose behind your struggles, the favor that flows in your life, and the relationships that reflect Christ's love. You'll discover that the trials you endure are not meant to break you, but to shape you into the person God has called you to be. It is our hope that this message will provide clarity, encouragement, and a renewed sense of purpose as you continue your walk with God. If this message resonates with you, we invite you to become part of our community. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more uplifting and faith-filled content. Don't forget to leave a like, comment your thoughts or experiences below, and share this video with your friends and family. By spreading this message, you're helping others discover the incredible ways God is at work in their lives. Let's grow together in faith and continue spreading His light. Sign 1. You don't fit into the world. One of the most evident signs that you are marked by God is the feeling of not fitting into this world. Many people marked by God feel like strangers in their own environment. This happens because God has called them to something greater and deeper, something that goes beyond what the world offers. When you are marked by God, you realize that the values, ambitions, and goals of most people around you simply don't resonate with you. The world operates in a cycle of material ambitions where success is often measured by power, wealth, and influence. However, those marked by God see the futility in these things. You see beyond the superficial and seek something eternal. It's not just about achieving great earthly goals, but understanding that your life has a divine purpose and that there is a greater plan for you. Many men and women in the Bible experience this sense of not fitting in. Take the example of Noah, in a world full of corruption, he was called to build an ark, a calling that no one else understood. He was ridiculed, despised, and probably felt very isolated. But God had marked him for a special task, and his obedience to that calling saved humanity, Genesis 6 verses 9 to 22. This disconnection from the world should not be seen as a burden. On the contrary, it is a constant reminder that you have been called for something greater. Jesus said in John 15 verse 19, If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. This feeling of not fitting in can sometimes be lonely. You may feel like an outsider in your own home, at work, or in your community. However, this loneliness is a reflection of your deeper connection with God. It is a sign that you are walking a different path, the one He has prepared for you. And as you walk this path, you will find others who share this same journey. Moreover, as you feel out of place, you become more aware of the kingdom of God. You begin to long for the true homeland, not the one that is physical or earthly, but the heavenly one, as written in Hebrews 11 verse 16. Instead, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one, this longing is what drives those who are marked by God to keep moving forward, even when everything around them seems to indicate otherwise. They know that they are here for a brief period and that their true home is with God. In times of difficulty, remember, 
Not being aligned with the values of the world is a sign that you are aligned with God's values. And when you remain faithful to this calling, even when you feel alone or misunderstood, you are demonstrating the mark of God in your life. Sign 2. You clearly feel the presence of God. One of the most powerful signs that you are marked by God is when you feel His presence clearly and constantly. It is not uncommon for those who are marked by God to experience a deep and almost tangible connection with Him. This presence is not just felt in moments of prayer or meditation, but in every aspect of life, even in the most challenging situations. Have you ever wondered why, even in your hardest moments, you still feel God's presence so intensely? This happens because you have been set apart by Him. This connection is a sign that you belong to God, and no matter what happens, this mark will never be removed. In the Bible, we see examples of how God's presence is palpable in the lives of those marked by Him. Psalm 139 verses 7 to 10 clearly expresses this reality. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. God's presence in your life does not mean you will be spared from difficulties or tribulations. In fact, it is often in moments of greatest pain and despair that God's presence becomes even more evident. When everything seems to be falling apart around you, you feel an invisible strength sustaining you. This is what it means to be marked by God. You are not alone. His presence not only comforts you, but also guides and protects you in every moment. For example, take the story of Elijah. In 1 Kings 19, Elijah fled from Jezebel, and feeling discouraged and exhausted, asked to die. But even in his anguish, God's presence was with him. God spoke to Elijah in a gentle whisper, not in the strong wind, earthquake, or fire, but in the calmness, 1 Kings 19 verses 11 to 13. That same presence that sustained Elijah is available to you. When you are marked by God, you can be sure that he will be with you, even in the moments of deepest silence and despair. No matter where you are or what you are facing, God sees you, knows your thoughts, your pains, your struggles, and is with you every step of the way. Sign 3. God's Special Favor Another sign that you are marked by God is when you receive His special favor in an evident way. God's favor does not manifest only in great victories, but also in small daily blessings. Often, this favor comes when you least expect it, opening doors that seemed closed and creating opportunities that no one else saw. However, this favor is not something you earn by your own merit. When you are marked by God, His favor comes as an undeserved gift. It is not because of your abilities or achievements, but because God has chosen to bless you in a unique and special way. The story of Joseph is a perfect example of how God's favor works. Joseph was sold as a slave by his brothers faced numerous difficulties, but in all situations, God was with him. In Egypt, he was falsely accused and imprisoned, but even in prison, God's favor followed him. He was elevated to the position of second-in-command of all Egypt, not because he was the most capable, but because God had marked him for that mission. When God places his favor on you, blessings come in unexpected ways. You may be facing difficulties at work, in relationships, or in your personal life, but suddenly, God opens a door, creates an opportunity, or sends a solution that you could never have predicted. This is God's favor. But it's important to remember that God's favor is not for you to boast about. He grants you favor so that you can be a testimony of His grace, so that others may see what He can do through a life that is marked by Him. Sign 4. Facing Opposition and Temptation If you are facing opposition and temptation, this can be a clear sign that you are marked by God. Opposition often comes from unexpected sources, and temptations may seem extremely attractive. But these trials are, in fact, tests to strengthen your faith and confirm that you are on the right path. Jesus faced opposition and temptation from the very beginning of his ministry. In the wilderness, he was tempted by the devil, who tried to divert him from his mission with promises of power and glory. Matthew 4 verses 1 to 11. Similarly, 
You will face temptations that may seem pleasant or even beneficial at first, but are designed to lead you away from God's path. Those who are marked by God often carry a light that makes them targets of spiritual attacks. The more you shine, the more the enemy will try to extinguish you. But as you face these difficulties, remember that God is using these situations to mold you, strengthen you, and show that you truly belong to Him. Sign 5. Your relationships reflect the nature of Christ. When you are marked by God, one of the most evident changes occurs in your relationships. These relationships begin to reflect the nature of Christ because your interactions with others are no longer based on what people deserve, but on the unconditional love that Christ demonstrated. This is a sign of spiritual maturity that reveals the active presence of God in your life. The greatest example of sacrificial love is seen in the life of Jesus Christ. He showed us, in a profound way, what it means to love without reservations, without demanding anything in return, and even to forgive in the midst of pain. On the cross, while facing death, Jesus prayed for his aggressors, saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Luke 23, verse 34. Here, Christ did not look at people's sins, but at their need for redemption. He chose the path of forgiveness instead of condemnation. This type of love and forgiveness is the same that flows from a person marked by God. When you are touched by Him, you do not react according to your human emotions, such as anger, hurt, or vengeance. Instead, you begin to see people as Christ sees them, with eyes of mercy and compassion. This means that even when people around you fail, betray, or hurt you, your instinct is not to retaliate but to respond with grace. It is not easy, and it will often be an internal struggle to forgive or act kindly when the other person doesn't seem to deserve it. However, this is the calling of someone who is marked by God. Jesus never promised us that it would be easy. In fact, he made it clear that we would be persecuted and mistreated because of his name. But he also promised that we would be clothed with his grace to respond with love. Matthew 5 verse 44. When you reflect the nature of Christ, your relationships become an extension of God's love. They are no longer transactional, based on an eye for an eye, but are a living demonstration of the redemptive power of the gospel. It is essential to remember that, when marked by God, you are not called to change people with your own strength. It is God's love in you that makes the difference. The Holy Spirit, who lives within you, gives you the power to love unconditionally, even in the face of hurt and rejection. He empowers you to forgive, to show kindness, and to practice acts of love without expecting anything in return. Your relationships become an opportunity to show the transforming power of Christ. Moreover, when you are marked by God, you begin to see people not only as they appear on the outside, but as precious souls in need of redemption. You understand that every person has their own struggles, wounds, and stories, and that their pain often manifests in difficult behaviors. Instead of judging, you feel called to bring healing and reconciliation through the love of Christ. This way of acting affects not only your personal relationships, but also how you behave in larger groups, whether at work, in church, or in your community. You become a peacemaker, someone who seeks reconciliation instead of conflict, someone who promotes unity instead of division. Even if the world may see your actions as weakness, you know that you are simply following Jesus' example, who chose to serve rather than to be served. When you are marked by God, your relationships become a powerful tool for the gospel. They show the world that true love does not seek its own interests, but is willing to sacrifice for the good of others. This is one of the strongest signs that you have been chosen to walk with Christ and reflect His divine nature. Sign 6. A desire to help and serve others. One of the clearest signs that you are marked by God is a deep desire to help and serve others. This desire is not born out of obligation or a need for recognition, but flows naturally as a response to the love that God has poured into your heart. When you are marked by God, you feel compelled to be the hands and feet of Christ in the world, bringing light and hope to those in darkness. Jesus Christ gave us the greatest example of service. Although he was the Son of God, 
the one who had all power and authority. He chose humility as his way of life. Jesus did not come to be served, but to serve. Mark 10, verse 45. He washed the feet of his disciples, an act that, in the culture of that time, was reserved for the lowliest of servants. This teaches us that true power and leadership are found in the ability to serve others. The desire to help others is a direct reflection of God's mark on your life. When you feel God's love, it is impossible not to share it with those around you. It is not about being benevolent just to feel good, but understanding that God has placed a mission in you to be an extension of his love on earth. The Bible teaches us that we were created in Christ for good works, which God prepared in advance for us to walk in, Ephesians 2 verse 10. Helping others, whether in practical or spiritual ways, becomes a priority in your life. You begin to notice the needs of those around you more clearly. It may be as simple as helping someone with a problem at work or providing support to a friend in crisis. Or it may be something deeper, such as offering emotional and spiritual comfort to someone facing loss or a time of despair. When you are marked by God, the Holy Spirit prompts you to be sensitive to the pain and needs of others. The suffering of others cannot be ignored, and you feel a strong urge to act. This may mean dedicating your time, your resources, and even your personal comfort to ease someone's suffering. And as challenging as that may be, you find deep satisfaction in knowing that you are fulfilling God's calling in your life. Jesus healed the sick, fed the hungry, and spent time with those who were rejected by society. He was a friend to sinners and a helper to the needy. When you are marked by God, you are called to follow this example. The desire to help and serve others is not just a choice. It is a response to God's calling in your life. However, this desire to serve will not always be easy. There will be times when you feel tired or discouraged, especially when your efforts seem unrecognized or unappreciated. But when you are marked by God, the motivation to keep serving doesn't come from the approval of others, but from the desire to please God and fulfill His purpose. Serving is also a way to spread the gospel. When you help someone, you are showing them God's love in action. Often, people are more impacted by what we do than by what we say. Your life of service becomes a living testimony of Christ's transforming power. The Apostle James reminds us that faith without works is dead, James 2 verse 17. Therefore, serving others is a way to live out your faith in a practical and visible way. So, if you feel a deep desire to help and serve others, know that this is a direct reflection of God's mark on your life. And in doing so, you are not only fulfilling His purpose for you, but also spreading Christ's love to a world that desperately needs Him. Underscore, 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 or even a sign that God has forgotten them. However, for those marked by God, trials have a greater purpose. They are tools used by Him to mold, refine, and strengthen your faith. Just as gold is refined in fire, suffering serves to purify our lives, removing impurities that prevent us from reflecting the character of Christ. God uses these painful experiences to make us stronger, wiser, and more dependent on Him. In 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, God said to the Apostle Paul, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. In moments of greatest weakness, God's power is revealed most clearly and strongly in our lives. The example of Joseph is one of the most powerful in the Bible. Joseph was betrayed by his own brothers, sold into slavery, and later unjustly imprisoned. Yet instead of allowing these experiences to destroy him, he trusted God and allowed these trials to prepare him for the greater purpose that God had for him. In the end, Joseph was elevated to the position of second in command in Egypt, and God used him to save countless lives during a severe famine. Genesis 41. When you are marked by God, your trials are not accidental. 
They are part of the refining process that God uses to prepare you for the plans He has for you. The pain you endure is not in vain. It has a divine purpose. Suffering can reveal areas in your life that need healing, repentance, or transformation. And as you walk with God through these moments, He molds you into the image of Christ. However, this doesn't mean the process will be easy. The pain can be overwhelming, and many times, you may feel tempted to give up. But it is precisely in these moments that God is closest to you, sustaining you and giving you the strength needed to continue. God's promise in 1 Peter 5 verse 10 is clear. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Trials also teach us to trust God fully. When our own strength fails, that is when we most realize the need to rely on him. And as we learn to trust God more, our faith deepens and our relationship with him grows stronger. Moreover, suffering makes us more sensitive to the needs of others. When we go through trials, we develop empathy and compassion for people facing similar struggles. This enables us to minister more effectively to those who are suffering. Our own pain becomes a means through which God can work in our lives to touch others. Ultimately, when you go through trials and suffering, this is a clear sign that you are marked by God. He does not allow you to go through these experiences without reason. He is shaping you, preparing you for something greater, and using your struggles to demonstrate His power, grace, and love. So in the midst of suffering, remember that you are not alone. God is with you, refining you and empowering you to fulfill His calling for your life. As we've explored these seven signs that you are marked by God, it becomes clear that being chosen by Him is both a great honor and a profound responsibility. Whether it's experiencing God's presence in your everyday life, feeling out of place in this world, or enduring trials that refine your character, each of these signs points to a higher calling that God has placed on you. Remember, being marked by God is not about perfection, but about His purpose working through your life. The favor you receive, the challenges you face, and the relationships you build are all part of His greater plan. When you recognize these signs, you gain a deeper understanding of how intimately involved God is in shaping your journey. You are not walking this path alone. His hand is guiding you, refining you, and positioning you for something far greater than you can imagine. No matter what you're going through, trust that God's presence is with you, His favor is upon you, and His purpose is being fulfilled in your life. The trials you face are temporary, but the work He is doing in and through you is eternal. Hold on to that truth as you continue to grow in your faith. If this message has touched your heart, we encourage you to stay connected with us. Subscribe to our channel for more powerful and uplifting content that strengthens your walk with Christ. Don't forget to like, share this message with your friends and family, and leave a comment sharing how God is at work in your life. By doing so, you're helping to spread His light and hope to those who need it most. Together, let's continue to grow in faith and shine His love in the world.